Well, what a competition it has been. The staff championships of 2023. India is finally the champions. After a nail-biting game, India has defeated Kuwait in penalties. Uh, the final score, I think it's 6-4. Yeah, 6-4. So, I, today, today I have with me Gumpe Rime, sir, who is the coach educator and also a goalkeeping coach. And also I have one more guest today. His name is Mr. Santosh Kasha. If I start introducing Santosh, sir, it will take up the whole episode. So for uh, he has decades of coaching experience and right now is the assistant coach of Odisha FC. So uh, thank you guys for joining me today. Both of you, both of you are like well inspirations for me. Let's begin with today's episode of the finals. So just an open question to begin with, as always. Uh, we'll start with Gumpe, sir. What are your thoughts on today's game, sir? Like the overall game. Uh, today, again, once again, you know, uh, very entertaining, very high voltage game, you know, as expected in the final, Kuwait, uh, you know, Kuwait were all gun blazing on us in the initial stage again, but conceding early on, yeah, putting us a little bit on back foot, but our boys, once again, you know, playing consecutive 90, uh, 120 minutes in four days time. And still showing the character and then uh, coming out as a equalizing and then winning the penalty shootout. Great character shown by our boys. And then we deserve, Billingly, we are the champion. Yes. Yes, sir. Santosh, sir, same question to you. Your overall thoughts on the game today? Yeah. First, uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Aditya, to inviting me your podcast. So, uh, it's a great pleasure. And... Uh, uh, about the today game, uh, definitely very exciting, thrilled. Every moment was thrilled and fantastic performance by the team India from everyone. Crowd was fantastic. They have really cheered up uh, very well every moment. And uh, see, football is a game of josh. We were down one goal and then they come up with the double space and they start cheering in India and that put the yes. josh and... It's, uh, I believe, uh, continuous playing 120 hours plus match is a, a semi-final as well as now final. So, great performance from everyone. <clears throat> from Congratulations from the <clears throat> head coach to the kit man and all the players and the fans. And fantastic moment for Indian football. And I think this is a great uh, uh, for uh, preparation for Asia Cup uh, for future, I believe. Definitely. Thank you, sir. We'll get into the whole conversation. Uh, for today, as is, as this was the final, so I've prepared something special. So, if let me know as soon as you guys can see the screen. So, here is the tactical pad, the tactical map that I have created. This, this wow. is the starting formation of India and this is how India represented in the game. So, uh, I would like to understand from experts such as yourself, how do managers prepare their teams for this such big games? Because tactic, tactics and all aside, what else is needed? Uh, let's start with Gumpe. Uh, can you? Uh, because, yeah, I'm just. Uh, I, yeah, I have to put on my glasses. Yeah, it's a. Uh, you can you can see the great lineup. You know, uh, Anwar Ali, Jingan. Uh, if you see the, the back four. Uh, yeah. Now it's clear. Yeah. So yeah. it's a perfect combination, you know, in the central midfield, we have Jackson and Tapa, you know, uh, Tapa making all the runs, Jackson's is uh, pinpoint accurate passing, and then uh, both of them complementing each other and control, dictating the tempo in the midfield. And uh, with Ashik and Changte, you know, I think uh, these two are unstoppable at times, you know, that they use the flank very well. And then we have uh, Sahal and uh, Chetri there, uh, you know, as we know he's a top scorer in the game. In the game, and still playing top football at this age. You know, all credit to Chetri for keeping himself fit. And then, uh, as we said earlier, you know, playing one twenty minutes is a tough job. And playing one hundred twenty minutes twice in four <clears> days <throat> is much tougher. But still, you know, today again, nobody showed any kind of uh, fatigueness, and uh, because they're playing at home and they were all all out. And then they really showed that they're playing for the country. And then, uh, yeah, everybody complimented each other, right from the goalkeeper to defender to midfield to the attack line. Everybody played as a unit once again. Yes. 
Definitely. Uh, Santosh sir, uh, your opinion on this as well. And also, if you could shed light on how a manager prepares for such a big uh, a big match as well in the Star Champions, the finals. How do you prepare for that? Yeah, Aditya, I believe uh, he has a very important point that he rotate the players throughout the uh, tournament. So, uh, in one match, uh, I think against Nepal, they have changes nine players. Yes. So, all the players are the best, but uh, uh, in the rotation, he uh, the best player, uh, those are performing and in the form, they have choose for the final, I believe. Uh, Aminder also really did well in the uh, previous games when he played as a goalkeeper, but now uh, Gurupreet did the excellent today as well. Uh, he made almost three saves in the game and the final penalty also. And he's a definitely good leader and in the form. It doesn't mean that Amri Inder was not a good player. He's also in the form. And we won the Hero Cup uh, under his leadership. He's also an excellent player. So this way, I am giving an example ki how he, the yeah. coach has prepared yeah. the team to, yeah. till the final. So it's very good yeah. that he rotate the, all the players and they get the proper rest and they are in the form. And then we can handle the pressure of the final which is yeah. very, very important. And all the experienced players, like I can see uh, every, uh, like Jingam, uh, the goalkeeper is uh, have a excellent uh, leadership quality. He's uh, guiding and taking all the responsibility as a leader. In defense, Sandesh was doing that job and he has guided young uh, defender like uh, Mehtab and Anwar and they played very well. And uh, in the wing back, uh, also young players, but I feel both the wing was excellent in attacking and full of energy throughout the 90 minutes. Akash and uh, uh, my friend Nikhil. Pujari, Nikhil Pujari. And yeah. in midfield, uh, that uh, uh, Thapa and uh, Jackson, and then later on Rohit and Sahal did the fantastic. And wing, uh, that Korean is always uh, is yeah. a really. A powerful man on 90 minutes and uh, Changte did excellent and uh, Chatri is the leader, great leader uh, all in the main and take the team and everyone together and uh, win the championship. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so a great example of how team should be rotated and how importance should be given to recovery and team management from our uh, head coach as well. So a great team rotation leading to no, no injuries till end of the two competitions. Uh, amazing on that. Yes. A very good, uh, I, very good substitution. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, Mahesh Gavli also did as a young coach from the line. Yeah. Fantastic. He has uh, big two games and responsibility is creditable yeah. for him. Proud of him that he did very well. And as a uh, uh, chief coach was out, so he did yeah. excellent uh, for substitution and everything. Yes. To motivate and yeah. guide the team from the line. Yeah. We've talked about Mahesh Gauli sir before as well. I talked about him with uh, Subrata Paul sir. But sir, while answering, you answered one of my next questions as well. So I'll come back to that. It's the wing backs, the full backs. Today I felt that the the full backs were amazing. I would like to get more on that from uh, Gumpari Misara. Yeah, we have seen you know time and again every time you know full back. Last time also we we saw they have they kept rotating the players. Uh, sometime uh, you know there are a lot of players who can easily fit in this uh, two position at the moment. It's a luxury for the coach, as as I mentioned earlier. Yeah, so yeah. whoever comes in to play, uh, whether it's a Pritam, whether it is Subhashish, you know, everyone is performing. Everyone is yeah. you know giving their best. So it's a great luxury for the coach to have that kind of uh, backings. You know, one is not there, the so other one is equally good. So I think yeah. these two are youngsters, young, younger, younger lot. So uh, Subhashish and Pritam, every time whenever they come, they uses their experience and they con still contributing. So, but for the future, I think these two are a great asset to the team. Yeah. So on many occasions we saw Chante moving in, in over here like that, and Nikhil Pujari pressing in. So is Nikhil Pujari going inside helps Chante more with the attacking on the attacking front as well? Yeah, Chante, can... yeah, yeah, can come. Go yeah. So if you can see, you know, Changte, you know, he have a tendency of cutting inside, 
At the same time, he can still go down the right, although he's a left-footer player, but you can still see him crossing with his right. Yes. right. He can still use his right leg equally as well. So he's quite unpredictable, so which makes it difficult for the defenders. So, But every time he moves in, it uh, creates space for Puzari to go up. And Puzari is usually quite enterprising on the flank. He he never hesitates to go up, and which is really good to see. And then, you know, so the, which which uh, helps the team in having more numbers in the attack. Yes. Uh, Santosh, are your opinion on this? Yeah, I just saying, see, uh, the all the good players, but uh, just to add the Gumpe point, that everyone put the best effort. I believe that's the main important for to win the championship and performing. That whoever get the chance, either for full match, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, who was on the field, he's ready to give his the best effort on that time at the moment on the pitch. That is the more, more important positive five for, point for Indian team to win the cup and hope it will continue and they will keep improving and uh, as main challenge in Asia Cup and then final, every, all our dream to uh, qualify yeah. for the World Cup. Yes. Definitely. That's the that's the final goal, qualifying for the World Cup. They're taking baby steps towards it. Surely progress has been made on that. Uh, let's Now let's talk about the first goal which India conceded. Um, so just, Gumpe, sir, any opinion on how India considered the, considered the first goal and what went wrong in that moment? Uh, I think it was a great finish. If you can see that, that was a great combination play by the attacking trio. You know, it started with a lob into the area. I think a little bit caught us off guard when the ball was uh, played into the area. So when it was a little bit long ball played into the area where we were a little bit out of position, that momentary lapse. But after that, the combination play that they did and then uh, played the cross right back was a little bit out yeah. of position and then which created so much space in that uh, uh, right side of our goal, you know, allowing the takers to come and slot the ball in and it was a great finish and uh, we cannot take it away from the Kuwaiti side for showing that great uh, you know, combination no, play no, and no, finishing no. at the goal. So, yeah, it was a great play from uh, Kuwait but I think a uh, little bit for a momentary lapse of concentration, I think we were punished. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Santosh, sir, your opinion on our first goal that India conceded? Yeah, I, I explained in a, t a tactical way like attacking, defending and transition. So I think it's a great transition move from uh, counter attack from the Kuwaiti side, Kuwaiti and side. Uh, it's very very difficult in such situation as switch play was happened from left to right, and then fantastic uh, movement and cross and finishing. Uh, and same way, uh, India also did the same way, and they almost yes. scored the same a uh, one touch finish or two touch finish. Uh, so, good moment. It's a transition moment and uh, modern football all about is transition. So, whoever will be attack in counter-attacks and handle the pressure, then de defend in that situation can be the winner. So, great move from... Uh, and it's happened uh, for Indian yeah. defense to not able to settle down that opponent's positive point that they have made excellent counter-attack and very difficult to defend that and uh, we can that goal. Yeah, that we definitely saw a Kuwaiti side pinning down India in the ending moments of the game as well in their own half. But yeah, we did defend, defend those uh, attacks and got through to the extra time and then to the penalties. Uh, let's move on and let's talk about India's goal as Santosh mentioned. It was pretty similar, identical to what happened. So, uh, it all began with a throw-in over here. I've just made a little animation to show how it happened. So if this is how we go through, went through it. You can stop me and we can discuss about the points anytime, sir. Chetri yeah. coming in. Chetri playing a great pass to Sahal and Shanti with the finish. This is how it went down. Yeah, your moment, um, opinion on this moment where Chetri came back and Sahal went ahead over here. Gumpe, sir, you can go first. Yeah, I think again, uh... Yeah, like the way they scored against us using this combination play, 
in the same similar fashion, we also had that fantastic moment of combination play between Sahal and Chetri when the throw in happened and the ball shifted to the left side and relayed to Chetri, which in uh, one touch, one two with uh, Sahal. And then it was a perfect cross for uh, uh, Changte. And then, you know, I think the way he sprinted to the ball and finished, that was yeah. a great sight to see because I think uh, with his pace, because if you if you're a little bit slow in that area, defenders will be there quickly. So before the defenders were quickly, right? Like Santos Bay also mentioned about, you know, countering them yeah. quickly before they, yeah. they settle down. So Transition. defenders, no clue where, like the lightning first, the, how Changte came from nowhere and just stepped the ball in and it was a great combination play. And then uh, that was the moment that we are all waiting for, equalized. But we must give credit to the entire team for keep going on. After going down one goal, but still we kept pressing them. We kept going for the equalizer, and finally we got the equalizer. A great combination yes. play again. Yes, yes. Santos, sir. Yeah. So I want to say on this, and Nikhil, uh, he has crossed the ball, but he was trying many times before that cross. Yes. And but uh, they also defending very well and blocking him. But he was keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, and then at last he get the crack. And then they definitely Chatri made his master class and he has given one touch, fantastic pass to my friend Korean and then he crossed and Changte was in perfect position. So perfect combination play. But I want to say that way because I have seen in Hero Cup when we uh, Orissa played Hyderabad and he has clearly put a lot of pressure uh, in our uh, Nikhil especially. Yeah from right side and we have to try to block otherwise result could be different and we we have stopped their wing play and then we won the match so both akash and they are trying very hard i need yeah. to say every moment and it's yeah. not so easy it's not so easy it's because they are defending also very well if you have seen one or two times almost last man he has come and defend the Last very danger move yes. uh, of Kuwait uh, by Nikhil. Yes. So fantastic play. Uh, everyone uh, did the uh, and uh, get the goal yes. and hope uh, we'll continue and could have gone one two other goals also. But they also good team and defended very well the yes. Kuwait team. Yeah. Just for our audience, I'll just play the animation once again. That's how India scored. That's how India scored their first goal, and now the score was level. At this, from this moment on, it was about who wants it more. So, so let's talk about that. Once the score is equalized, uh, there were many many uh, efforts by the Kuwaiti team to play physical football. I think their team received seven yellow cards, something like that. So, how do you keep your mind calm and respond to such situations when the opposition team is going so hard physically on you? Gumpe sir, please, with your opinion. I think today our boys were really controlled. They they were quite controlled today. So, they were like a uh, little bit from uh, Rohit, we saw a little bit of uh, yeah. Yeah, losing the moment of anger. Yeah. yeah, that moment of uh, faith. But uh, I think otherwise, uh, we saw the like number of yellow cards flashed out today was unbelievable. Like, I think uh, if you can calculate both the teams, I think uh, more than 10 yellow cards were flashed out yes. today. So I was a little bit uh, uh, worried anytime second yellow card could be could result into expulsion. So like we had some players, key players who were on yellow cards, but again, this started this uh, the the moment the start playing physical football, things can turn ugly. So anything can yeah. happen. So that was a little bit of worrying moment uh, for me personally. But I think, but they kept the cool, you know. But still, yeah. and uh, they, they were equal. Uh, even when they came physically, our boys were equal to them. And then, you know, they were quite strong today. Yes. Santosh, sir, uh, your opinion on the same with the yellow card? Yeah, see, it's, yeah, I, I feel it's a normal because it's a championship game. And uh, it's uh, really difficult for uh, Kuwait as a away team. So they fatigue also the concern. They tired out on that physical start playing. But again, as rightly said, Gumpe, that uh, our players have keep the cool and focus on 
फेयर प्ले एंड फोकस ऑन द विन एंड कीप ट्राइंग देयर बेस्ट दे आल्सो टायर्ड नो डाउट बट दे हैव कीप देयर कूल एंड वांट टू दिस इज नॉर्मल इट्स इट्स अ चैंपियंस गेम सो नोबडी वांट्स टू लूज सो इट्स आई फील इट्स इट्स ओके या इट्स ओके लेट्स टॉक अबाउट फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू so do you think the referee managed the game well there are one or two instances when i saw chetri start being pulled off uh, when he was not on the ball then the rohit incident as well would were those red card offenses could as those have been red card offenses bumpai sir i don't think so yeah that they that, that were because both of them were equally you know tussling for the ball and in the moment uh, okay the reaction from rohit i think was little bit uh, uh could have been dangerous so i think but still it's both are equally you know going for the ball so i don't see that uh, could should have been a red card i don't think so and so, then uh, that yeah. uh, chetri being pulled down i think that uh, you can say that's a tactical foul that they make because if he runs and then the good pick play that long ball then he's always danger in those kind of situation so it was quite far away from the goal i must say it almost at the center yeah. line So, yeah. you you cannot say that you know it's a red card foul so that's a tactical foul you know we have seen yeah. uh some of our players also you know pulling the players down which is you know if you allow them to go ahead which can cause trouble so then before that happens you know maybe you make a foul or maybe get a yellow card sometime to ever that situation is better than yes. conceding a goal yeah so taking one sometimes the players uses it smartly same opinion santosh sir do you want to add anything on this no yeah i think you're correct uh, that because it's a uh, no one half it, if chatri was yeah. in again is goal, goal goal scoring area and the pulled and then could be a red card and then a penalty or whatever but he was in yeah. a own half rohit also was own half and rohit for us i think he is not hit that uh, it's just uh, oh, red card wala tha nahi foul less i i don't feel it was in okay. red card for yeah so uh, let's just say that the referee has managed the game well and he managed to keep a heated game quiet and get on with the game as much yes. as he can right yes i yes. think you know yeah. uh, the referee uh, the way he controlled the game is commendable you know the early on he started flashing those yellow cards i think which kept the players on track if he he tried to pacify them and don't give those cards then maybe things could have turned ugly but he started flashing those yellow cards you know and any time yeah. they repeat it and it's a championship game you get a second yellow card you are out of the game so i think that 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 way the referee really controlled and managed the game well okay okay absolutely absolutely correct yeah yeah i've stopped sharing because no tactical pad can help us in talking about penalties so let's talk about the penalties then Uh, sir, you are a goalkeeping coach, Gumpe sir. So, what about Gurpreet Singh Sandhu today? Two games, two continuous penalty shootouts, and amazing save. What do What do you have to say about him? Yeah, I would uh, first of all, uh, you know, uh, praise him for making that save in the dying minute. I think you know that uh, low shot towards his right side. You know, that yeah, was a yeah, good shoot, yeah. good uh, attempt at the goal by Kuwaiti side, but he made that save, getting the like. you know almost 195 cm and getting down for that low ball yeah, that's a, that was a great save you know to keep the team yeah. in the competition yeah. Yeah. otherwise it could have been difficult for us if we had considered that goal yeah. but again when it comes to penalty you know always our goalkeepers have shown whoever comes in you know we have our goalkeepers have shown that you know we can rely on them so they they really give us confidence when it comes to penalty we have seen in previous game we have seen them in previous competitions as well yeah. so yeah so and then you know our goalkeepers have always done us proud yeah yeah santosh sir about you and i would also like you to add about uh, the the penalty takers yeah especially yeah <laughs> uh, what what goes on in a uh, penalty takers mind at the time of taking a penalty uh, yeah no it's obviously is the uh, Lot of pressure, and you when you are playing for the country and the, you know, look uh, chasing the championship, so always pressure there. But I think our players uh, has a previous experience also in the semi final, also did fantastic and uh, won that certain uh, try breaker. And today also they have everyone scored uh, very confidently. 
and because they definitely ISL made the difference in in Indian football and infrastructure pace. Everything is come up, and they are more confident, more sharp, more mature, more professional, and they understand the situation more. That's a, a great advantage for us. And uh, everyone had, had I think, perfect uh, tie breaker for us. And then sudden death also went, and we perfectly handled very well and we scored all of all of them yeah fantastic uh, is playing almost uh, 10 years gurpreet and very professional very mature very focused and uh, he know his responsibility and ma he made the difference and saving the final penalty and uh, give the championship to india yeah definitely um, just one thing. Now, Udanta missed his penalty, unfortunately. But after a, after missing a penalty, he's such a great player. So, um, like, how do you make sure that his morale doesn't go down after those matches as well? I mean, winning the championship definitely helps. But from an individual perspective, how do you help that individual to come back and take a penalty once more and score them? Uh, I think Santosh suffered. Yeah. See, in that, uh, the next penalty taker is the most important player. And uh, Subhash has taken that penalty. So, he yeah. was well uh, confident player. Subhash, yeah. Final penalty was Subhash, no? After Udanta? Final pe after Udanta, it was Subhash. Mahesh. Mahesh, I Mahesh. think. Mahesh has taken. Mahesh so, he is also one of the... Penalty. Yeah, final penalty. Uh, the Udapta, Udanta, Subhash and then... So the Mahesh. see in that moment nobody is, can give you the confidence. There is no time, so you yeah. have to prepare yourself. So it's a player individual ability how he prepared that time. So Subhash is also well experienced and he scored that. And Mahesh also I feel one of the skillful player. He's a very creative player in our yeah. team and uh, he, he was fantastic. Very confident penalty he has taken. Udanto also yeah. always take, but it's part of yes. the game. It's happened. Yeah. The pressure and he took to shoot and it's missed. It's okay. It's one of his best a moment of the game. Of the game. Cannot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. 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 So perfect. Uh, I think tiebreaker for us and championship. Yeah.